This is one of those little DC motors that you find in toys and such. Let's uh, take it apart and see how one works. This is the armature from the motor and as you can see it's just three coils of wire and when you run electricity through coils of wire they become either uh, north or south oriented and that's not special I mean yeah you can do that with anything what makes this clever what makes this motor work is how it's wired down here to these connections these act as little switches and what happens is we feed the power in here say plus and minus and as this spins uh, the plus and minus wires relocate so first it'll be like plus and minus here and then as it moves the next thing the plus and minus will be on the next set and then as it moves it'll be plus and minus as it's doing that what happens is that these things are changing from north to south so at first they will be uh, attracted to the magnet whichever way that is let's say it's north and the magnet south as it comes down here it's attracted to the magnet and then as it approaches the magnet because of the way this is designed the, the uh, armature now becomes the opposite and it repels the magnet and then the next piece coming down here will become attracted to the magnet and as it moves through it's attracted to the magnet and then it repels and then it just keeps following on and on and on like that and that is how it works it's very clever a little piece of engineering very simple but uh, very effective the other thing I've done to make this work is I've gotten the cap off of a spray paint can and I've punched holes in it, one there and one there, so this will act to mount our, our armature. And then I've stuck a magnet in the bottom and that will substitute again for the magnet that's in the normal, um, normal little electric motor. So then we'll just stick this thing in here like that and yeah, so this will be our little electric motor. Let's uh, do a demo and show you that it really works. I've got two AA batteries sitting just off camera. And if I can get these wires just at the right place, this, we can start spinning. Depending on where I put the contact, it goes faster and slower. Well, that's it for our explanation of how these little motors work. I hope you found it useful and interesting in your home electronic experimentation.